Hello everyone, welcome to the Random Tuesday Show. This is a new show, kind of, that I kind of came up with, and this is just basically a show that I go over just random things that I get to either review or something. Like, this is going to be, uh, hopefully this is going to be a maybe once a month thing or different things. It's mostly like, I kind of want to come up with like a bunch of random mini series uh like for instance this series that i'm coming out with in the random tuesday is the K case month uh this is where i just basically go over the cases that i've got to review and which one i like the best and that would be the case of case of the month uh this may not happen every every month i hope it does it just kind of depends on how often I get cases to review or if I decide to buy cases and all of that. Um, but it's not, this random Tuesday isn't just going to be all phone cases. It's going to be a bunch of different random stuff that I could review that I think is interesting that you guys should see. Um, so yeah, let's get started with the case of the month of April. So I've gotten a few cases not all in April, but over time, and I decided to save doing separate reviews on them because doing case reviews are kind of boring to me, or well, especially video ones. Writing them, I don't mind, but making videos of them are kind of boring because there's not much you can go over with. So I decided why not just save this for a random Tuesday episode whenever I decided to publish one of the, the first videos. So, let's get started off with the first case. The first case is the, um, an art, a Titanium Artston Series Aluminum case, plate case. Um, Titanium makes this case. This is a, it's made of like, like a hard plastic. And then on the back, you can actually see it does have aluminum on it. So that's really, really nice. And a lot of people with these cases I've seen thought this messes with the, the um, signal of your phone. When I've used it with a friend's iPhone 6, I never really had any issues with it. Uh, I've no, I didn't even notice any issues with it at all. Um, overall, this is a nice case. Uh, they do have different colors you can get. This is just the black one. Um, and surprisingly, this case actually, uh, I've had other cases like this before where the aluminum would pop off, but this one is glued on there pretty good. And so if you drop it, the aluminum is not going to fall off and it's going to look like an ugly case. And so that, this is a really, really nice case if you just want some stylish case, um, to look cool. Um, it doesn't offer much protection at all on anything, uh, especially the strain. So that is one thing that there's not a lot of protection uh, with this case. Um, the second case is a Will No case. Um, I got this case for a dollar to review. Um, and let's just say this is really all this case is worth is a dollar. Um, this is a really, really cheap case. I've never actually got a case this cheap to review in a long time. So to put your phone in, you would take off the two gold um, things on the end and just slide your phone in. And then you would attach your phone, put these back on, and your phone would be set in there but as you can see this set this phone case says phone case okay it doesn't say if it's iPhone case it just says phone case um, high quality yeah I don't think it's that much high quality <laughs> uh, because legitly all this is is plastic and it's not good plastic and especially these things these things I would see would break more than this piece. Um, I can't really suggest this case at all because this case is very, very cheaply made. 
and there's not a whole lot of anything special about this case. It doesn't offer much of anything, any, whereas like protection doesn't really offer much protection. Yes, it protects all around the phone, but the screen, like I said, is exposed. And it doesn't even come with a screen protector. What's odd in the packaging is they co it comes with you know, like the wipes to do a screen protector and a dust removal, but does not come with a screen protector, which makes no sense. Uh, they call it a screen cleaning kit in it, which you think they would at least throw in a screen protector if they throw in the wipes and everything. Um, this case normally retails for $10, and it's not even worth $10 at all. It's more worth like a dollar like I paid. The next case is the, the milk. Co dual layer case or dual bumper case and as you can tell this is a case that has a bumper and your typical TPU um, rubber like material case I've used this case I just recently got this case actually this month actually and I've actually used this case uh, for about a few about a week now and I will say right when I got this case I did find one major flaw that kind of annoyed me was with the bumper there is an issue down here with the charge port if you have off-brand cables, which most people do, they don't go out and buy an Apple cable, they buy off-brand cables. Most off-brand cables have a bigger connector on it, not as thin as like an official Apple one. So when you try to plug it in, it doesn't fit in the phone at all. For example, this is one of the cables that do, does not fit. And I'll show you real quick. And it's kind of difficult to put on the phone in the first place. Um, you would put it on like this, and then you'd kind of have to force the bumper on the case, which is kind of odd. So once it's on, so you would think this cable would plug in. Actually, this one does. Well, that's a bad example, but it doesn't really fit tightly at all. Um, but I've had other cables that have a slightly bigger end than that cable uh, that will not fit in here at all. Um, for example, I know one of the anchor cables that I have will not fit in here because it's bigger than the hole. Um, so yeah, that's one of the issues. This the, That was the first day that I found the issue about it. And then the second day, of using this I noticed another issue is that these buttons don't these buttons work over here um, but I took this on a small vacation that I just took to st. Louis and I really use my phone but I noticed when I was using it these buttons were stay pushed in when using it these buttons were pushed in like this and I had to like do this to turn the volume up and I decided to take the case off and look at it and well when I did I noticed that these buttons are like glued with a little piece of cloth like this to the side of the bumper and well, as you can tell, this one came unglued because they didn't put enough glue on it and there's not much material. There's a bunch of material over here, but not on this side because of this, the, um, the silent button. And so that broke like when I was on vacation. So it was kind of hard to turn my volume up and down. Like one thing that they could have done that they could not even included this bumper or use this bumper to 
instead of having it like fit across the case, the TP style case. Just had the bumper and had like this part removing, this part removing, you just put your phone in. But they decided to do it this way and this made this case. I, I the thing is when I first got this, I really, really liked this case. But it didn't even last a few days and it already broke on me and I couldn't really use it much at all. So that was a big disappointment. Um, as you can tell, they have their logos on the side, of the, on the bumper. So yeah, that's that on that case. Next case is the Lazla X Armor case for the iPhone. This is mostly like a Autobox Commuto case uh, because it has two parts to the case. It's got your um, silicone and your plastic um, other part. So it's plastic and then silicone. And I'd say this is really a nice case. Um, the phone kind of just sits in here like this and it protects it from all directions. It doesn't really protect the screen protector, but it is what it is. Um, overall, I like this case, but this does make your phone slightly heavier um, because you got the sil thick silicone and plastic on it. Uh, and the buttons are kind of neat, actually, The where the buttons are placed. They're kind of really, really neat. I kind of like that about this case. Um, they have a different shape to them. And then you got down here, you like the charge ports, all the cables work that I've used. And yeah, this is the Lazla Rugged X Armor case for the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. You can also get this for the regular 6 too. So that's a really, really nice case. And now for one of my favorite cases of the month. And yes, this is the winner of this episode. And I hopefully I can say this case brand a little bit better. It is Wan Nixta. Uh, this is their um, shark proof jelly transparent case. And I'd say I really, really like this. This is what I've been using on a daily basis now uh, because it's really, really nice and it does kind of slip out of your hand sometimes, which is, that's kind of a bummer, uh, but it is easy to grip on to even if you do notice it slide because of the extra protections on the um, corners of the device. And what this kind of does, I've not tested it because I don't want to drop my phone, is that when you drop it, it's supposed to help it not fall on the screen if you drop it. Um, it's supposed to land and lay flat like that if you drop it. It's not supposed to lay on the, on the screen whenever you drop it. Not really tested that theory out, but it might work. I don't know. Um, also, another cool thing about this case is they actually give you a tempered glass screen protector. This is not the one that they gave me um, on my phone currently, but they do include a tempered glass screen protector, which is really, really nice. Um, I think a lot of companies that sell cases should do that um, because tempered glass screen protectors aren't that expensive depending on how high quality you want, but it's really, really, really good that they included that. The only thing that I do not like about this case is the plus and minus on the volume buttons. It just feels, when you're using the phone, it just feels odd um, to feel the plus and minus sign on the case. But other than that, this is a really, really nice case and I really recommend um, this case. And like I said, this case is the case of the month. Um, really nice case. I would really rec recommend this case to anyone that is interested in a nice protection case. Um, so yeah, and that is the case of the month. And if I had to pick one out of the six 
six S's. Um, the six iPhone six cases, it would be the titanium one because this thing is a piece of junk. Um, so yeah, hope you liked this video. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I will leave a link down to below all these cases. And I'm going to do something that I've been wanting to do. And I'm going to do a giveaway of this case. I will um, give away of this case. You, I will purchase it, purchase another version of this case of the color that you want. And I will send it out to you um, through Amazon. And all you have to do is like this video and subscribe to my channel to be entered into this case giveaway. And so, yeah. Hope you liked this video. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And this giveaway is going to go on for, let's do the entire month of um, April. And if there's a bunch of comments, then I may do two or one, just depending on how many comments and views that we get. So all you have to do to enter the giveaway is like the video, subscribe to my channel, and comment something down in the comment section to win this case. Um, and I do believe they have a six, um, an iPhone 6 model of this case. So if you're interested in either or, I will get you one of them. And so, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.